So good morning friends welcome to PD class student important session for those who are preparing for computer lecturer interview and i hope this nbs pct computer will definitely fruitful and today i am going to add lot many questions regarding technical round and i hope will definitely benefit to our all students whether you are going for kbs or nbs moreover students you would be enjoying our both channels pd classes and interview guide you will be watching lot many videos regarding teaching interview body language as well as personality development we welcome you mr vikas thank you sir because you are from riva yes sir uh, madhya pradesh madhya pradesh okay so we have here mr sandeep he is from haryana hello sir hello. okay and jhajar particular place that's great and uh, today first question from you is that we want first of all about your strengths what are your strong points so my strong point is that i am punctual disciplined and i am much particular about my schedule i don't like to waste many time in unproductive work control statements kya hote hai sure sir Control statement are the backbone of any programming language because with the help of pro control statement we can easily control the flow of is flow of control. For example, if we see when we are go going to withdraw some cash from the ATM and if we put the invalid pin, so it is the responsibility of control statement statement to stop my transaction and so any error message. So such type of work can be done with the control statement. Mr. Sandeep, what is spyware? Spyware is types of malware that comes uh, in our computer from any source of network or we can say any pen drive and other external source and they attach themselves to any our applications and sometimes they also destroy our files and replicate themselves and our work get hampered okay describe the use of loop in programming language sure sir So loop is a process of repetition of any particular action again and again until we get up to the particular result. For example, if you are going to execute or uh, create a table of any number, for example, if, if I put two and I want to show the table of two, two one zero two 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 ten zero twenty, then it that in that case we need loop. So simply loop is a process of repetition. Okay. Yes, sir, Sandeep. Okay. What is use of ICT in education? Uh, sure, sir. ICT stand for uh, Internet and Communication Technology and Information Techno Technology and it's a very powerful tool for education because with the help of ITC we can make teaching and learning process much easier. So it works as a teaching aid also and with the help of ICT we can also maintain our files, folder and data secure. Okay. What are your hobbies? Sir, my hobbies are listening motivational songs and programming. I also love to teach students and reading motivational poems. Yes, Mr. Sir. What is use of AI in education? Ah, uh, yes, sir. AI artificial intelligence is a modern technology of programming. With the help of AI, we can solve that very critical problems, uh, just like a human. As we know, human learn learning of human is limited and it destroyed when we are in a inactive. But with the help of AI, we can transfer the major things and major algorithms to the machine, and it can be also forwarded to next generation also. What is filtering in SQL queries? Sure, sir. Filtering is a way of fetching in only actual information or the required information from the database. If we have the huge amount of database and we want to search only particular data, then we use filtering. For filtering the data, we use select statement with the help of where clause and like clause, and using the condition also. Okay. What is constraints in RDB means? Yes, sir. Constraints are basically conditions that prevent the invalid data to be inserted inside any uh, database. With the help of constraint, we can prevent that invalid data or null data cannot be inserted to the database because at the time of accession or updation, they they provide they will uh, hamper the task or sometimes they will damage the actual result, final result also. What is cloud computing? Sure, sir. Cloud computing is a networking technology where we put the data or store the data in a server and make its availability all over the world. With the help of cloud computing, computing, we can place websites, our data, and also our applications to on the uh, computer network, and we can access it from anywhere. If we will give you any topic of your choice for yeah. demo, yes, what you will prefer? So I prefer programming. First of all, programming language means you will teach programming to yes, students. Sir. How yes, will sir. you start your topic? Sir, suppose we are students. Okay, sir. Sir, I think we should start with the relating our any topic to the uh, our daily life. Like. So, like, if you are using the mobile phone, students. So you can see any types of game applications and communication games yes. also. WhatsApp, Facebook, all these things are the, 
can be done with the help of programming so if you are talking any we are sending message from one person to another person so there must be security of message for that ict uses the encryption technology so encryption how we can carry the encryption in our programming language with the help of program also okay. so for that purpose we need programming and then we start the concept of programming what is cardinality and degree of relation okay sir Cardinality and uh, degree of uh, any relation, it's a property of relation. Okay. When any relation or table has more than one columns, right. so the number of columns is known as the degree of any particular relation and the number of rows or number of records specify the cardinality of that table. Okay. Yes. What is networking? Uh, sure sir, networking is a uh, method of connecting more than one node in a such way in which one node can transfer the data or information from one place to another place. They can easily interact with each other and the data must be converted from analog to digital and dis digital to analog as, and finally it will be converted to a human readable format. Why you opted to be a computer teacher? Yes sir. Uh, sir, when I was reading in class 10th, it was the first time when I get introduced with the computer and working with computer I get lot of interest in computer. So, not only the computer, but I want, I much eager to know about what is going behind the screen also, how the application are actually working. So, for this purpose, I started my graduation in BCA and after BCA, I, I enjoy actually programming. So, when we see the student, they are actually worried about the programming. So, I decided programming is very, very interesting things. Yes, we can teach like, teach this programming as a game. So, I opted this career as a, this is my career. So that I can also help the student to understood computer in better manner. Okay, what are the qualities a computer teacher must inculcate? Uh, yes, sir. A computer must uh, computer teacher must have the uh, critical thinking first of all, and it has the divergent thinking also because he has to think any one thing in different types of ways. Right. A program can be developed in different types of ways also, and then he has the he has interest of the languages. He must have the knowledge of different types of programming languages along with database technologies also because without the database any technology cannot be fulfilled itself and a part of this thing he must have because he is a teacher so he must have the knowledge of child psychology also he must aware of their weakness and strongness of this student and he must teach accordingly because there are many application and many many areas in computer center computer science we can become a software developer or program tester or game developer or designer also. So there is not any single stream only programming. So there are many stream and computer teacher works as 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 the interest of her, her student or his students. You have come from Reva Madhya Pradesh. Yes sir. So how you felt at uh, PD classes? Kaisa laga aapko yaan kar? Sir, environment of PD classes is fantastic for me. I learned much of the things from PD classes because we Till now we are working as a teacher, so there are some small small mistakes usually are making during my our classes. But when we come here and you guide me, so we actually understand our our weakness point, and obviously our communication skills also get improved in PD classes. Okay, and what about the food and accommodation? Is are you satisfied? Uh, well, full satisfied, sir. Food and food accommodation very good quality, and the uh, environment what we have get in in P PGs is also fantastic. We are proud of you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you and my best wishes to you. Thank, Thank you, sir. You.